Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pauline Newman. I hope you all are doing well. It's been a long time and I just wanted to give you a life update, health update, and just talk to you about how I'm feeling post-COVID. 2024 started off lovely. It's actually bittersweet, January was. It just, New Year's Eve was just wonderful. We were with family, fellowshipping with family. It was just wonderful. I was ready to, you know, hit the ground running with my fitness again and just keep going till I get to my goal and then to the next goal. And then I got sick about the third week of January, I got sick. And I just thought it was, oh, it's the flu or the change in the weather. One day it's really cold and for us in Florida, you know, 65, 70 is cold. Well, at least it is for me. And then the next day it's hot and back and forth. So I just thought, okay, you know, I'm feeling weak and fatigued. Maybe I'm just feeling a bit run down. So I continue taking my supplements and herbs and just continuing going about my business. And then it started getting worse. At nights, it was oh, horrible. It felt like there were pins and needles in my throat and my throat felt like this. And just even swallowing water felt like I was trying to swallow a grapefruit whole. It, it even my own saliva going down hurt. I had to keep doing this to talk, to drink water. It was so bad. I then took the the test, the COVID test on January 31st. Um, and it was positive. On February 1st, I had a telehealth meeting with my doctor. He prescribed Paxlovid and I went to pick it up and Walgreens said, oh, that's $1,600. And it's like, what? It was like, yeah, it's $1,600 without insurance. And the reason I don't have insurance is another story. I got laid off in October, another story. Um, and so the pharmacist looked at my face and she said, oh, do you know that there is a free version? The government has one that is absolutely free. We don't have it at this Walgreens, but there's one close by that has it. So I went, I got that. And for the next five days, I cannot explain to you how horrible the sickness was. I was always short of breath, constant coughing. My throat, I couldn't speak. And if I do, I was out of breath. I was constantly out of breath. Just to talk, I had to hold my throat like this to talk. It was the worst experience of my life. And I tried to equate it to something. I, I don't think I could because the loss of my father three years ago, nothing can equate to that. Uh, but this, this sickness that I had, this COVID is horrible. And so after about the two week mark, I was feel yeah, two weeks, even though I had packs of it, I was feeling a little better and I started going for walks. The first day I went walking and it was maybe what usually would take me 17 minutes to just go back and forth it took me 35 and on the way back I was so tempted to call an uber or a taxi to take me five minutes away from my home that's how tired I was that's how out of breath I was 
I was so weak. I, I cannot tell you. It, it, it's the worst feeling, worst sickness I've ever had. And I have my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. <coughs> Excuse me. But one thing I want to make sure that's clear in this video is that if you don't have insurance and you do get COVID, the government has a free one that you can get from the pharmacy. So just know that. I'm about to say something that will probably sound controversial and, and might make you do a second take, but I am glad I had COVID now and not last year when I was 424.4 pounds. And hear me out, the reason I say that is because when I was 424 pounds, every task I attempted, I was out of breath. I was short of breath. I tried walking, I was out of breath. Just to stand and wash the dishes, I was out of breath just to attempt to try, attempt to tie my, my sneakers, my, the laces, I was out of breath. Everything I did when I was 424 pounds, I was out of breath. That's why I say, I'm so glad that I had it now and not then, because I don't know if I would be sitting here talking to you right now. And you can tell that I'm still not better, but I'm trying my best to take my supplements and continue to eat right and, and exercise. It, it takes a lot out of me now when I'm, when I'm working out. I have not been back to my trainer since the middle of January, but I'm going for walks and I'm cycling and doing my cardio still. And once this is all gone, I'm going to be back possibly the 1st of, of April. I'll be back with my trainer. So that's the health portion. Life update. As I mentioned earlier, I had such a wonderful time with family coming up from overseas. We went shopping a lot. And I have a few hauls coming for you. They've been sitting here and there in my QVC room. There's a lot of stuff coming. So I have a few hauls coming as well as I don't know that I don't know if somebody is going through this, but I just want you to know and I'll share this this portion and just a little bit of it. I was laid off after 16 years at a company in October. This was a new manager that I had. Never met the man before, he just came on. And he didn't even spend two minutes on Zoom and just said, thank you for your service. And this person will talk to you about your severance package. Click, and he was gone. I lost my job still haven't gotten anything yet. Everything I interviewed for is I'm overqualified. So I lost my job and then at the start of the year my rent doubled and it's legal. Doubled. And here in January, then in January I had COVID. If I didn't have a foundation that is built on faith, a foundation, a good foundation and a good support system, I honestly don't know if I'd be sitting here talking to you. Because I just thought what else could go wrong and the moment I thought that, everything that could go wrong went wrong. And I want to mention this that you can you can get through this you will get through it things happen and sometimes it's just test just God testing you because if you can't go through with this right now it may seem big when you're going through it but it really is small he's just preparing you for something bigger 
He's preparing you because something bigger is coming along. So he's preparing you now. So if you can get through this, Whatever big is coming down the road, whether it's good or bad, you be well equipped, well armed for what's coming along. So whatever you're going through, just know you're not alone. You are not alone and you don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer. I'm the type of person that when I'm happy, I want everyone to be happy. I will spread joy and happiness, but when I am hurting, I close down and you don't hear from me. In my mind, I'm thinking, why should I be that Debbie Downer and make you feel the way I'm feeling? Let me handle it. I don't want to spread that. And it may be the wrong way to think, but that's how I deal with my, my problems and my issues. But for you, I want you to know that you're not alone. You will get through this. This is only a chapter. It is not the entire book. It's only a chapter you're going through right now. So know that everything that happens in your life happened for a reason. You may not see it when you're going through the eye of the storm, but when the storm passes and you look back, you will then say, thank God I didn't give up. This is why I held on. This is why I was able to get through. So trust me, everything will work out. And I'm saying this to you and to me. And you may see <clears throat> that there are lots of shorts, faith-based shorts on this channel in the last month, two months. And I did that because that's what kept me going. My faith kept me going. And I wanted to share that with you. I couldn't physically come on camera and talk to you. But that's what kept me going. And I wanted to share that with you. And I don't want my core base subscribers who were with me from the beginning with my beauty, lifestyle, and fashion to think that I've alienated you. I, I have not. I just wanted you to realize that there are other parts of me and what keeps me going beyond YouTube when I'm going through my struggles. This is what keeps me going. And so I created a second channel solely to uplift you, to encourage you, to, to support you for a safe space for you to talk about the love of God, the blessings of God, the mercies of God his protection over you and this channel is called The Uplift. I will leave the link to it in the description because I need for people to understand what having something to believe in feels like when you're going through something that is so rough that you can't see your way through. I need to have a safe space for others to come to, to talk about what they're going through. And we all can gather around and support each other, motivate each other, witness to each other, tell our testimony. So I'm going to leave the channel, The Uplift, in the description, the link to it in the description and in the eye above. And upcoming, what's coming up on my channel, I will be showcasing the hauls, the stuff that uh, we bought when my family uh, were here. I'll, those are coming up next, <clears throat> if I can get through talking. So I just wanted to give you that life update and let you know that if you are going through something, you are not alone. Re you can reach out to me, email me. I have, my email is on the about section of my page. Email me. And I also wanted to ask you if you would be interested in a members only. I'm thinking about doing members only um, subscription, I guess it's called here on YouTube. And that's where we can 
we can talk to each other off YouTube or even have Zoom and talk to one another, get to know each other, fellowship with one another. So I'm thinking about creating a um, members subscription service here on YouTube. Let me know your thoughts um, in the comments. As always, I want to thank you for your kindness, for your patience, for your support, your unbelievable support. Thank you so much. Those who checked up on me on Facebook, on Instagram, out here on YouTube, I am grateful for each and every one of you. And as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, simply pay it forward. Until next time, God bless you. Goodbye.